Hi, this is Valerie with At My Home. Today we're going to do a review of the Sandman Doppler Alarm Clock from Palo Alto Innovations. Now we first saw this at CES and they just sent us one to review and we're really excited to try it out. Now we've been using an Amazon Echo as an alarm clock since the very first one came out. And it was great because we could just lean over and say, you know, turn on the alarm, set the alarm, turn off the alarm. But at first it didn't have a clock, so, you know, we didn't really know what time it was. Now recently we got an Amazon Echo Show 5, and that's nice because it has a clock and it's got a nice little display, but that thing's really bright and it wakes me up a couple of times a night. So the nice thing about the Sandman Doppler is actually a really nice clock. So it's really solid, it's got a nice display. You can dim the display and it actually auto dims at night. So in a dark room, it's gonna be pretty low. Uh, so it's not gonna wake you up. And it's also got physical buttons on the top. So uh, you don't just have to turn it on and off with Alexa. You can actually turn off the alarm by pushing the alarm button. Um, or you can snooze with this big bar here. So that makes it really nice. It also has a whole bunch of USB charging ports on the back. I'm gonna turn this around here. So you can see there's actually six USB ports so you can charge any number of devices and they're not only, well, you can charge six devices. Uh, you can, and you can not only charge USB-A, which is what we're all used to, the old USB, there's also USB-C ports you can get and you can get it in either configuration. So you can charge multiple devices right here from your nightstand. So when we install the Sandman Doppler, we started off by just opening up the box. Let's see here. And they made it really easy because they've got little QR codes for the manual and for support. And then there's a QR code right here where you can download the app from the App Store. And so let me show you what it took to get it set up in the app. When you scan the QR code, you'll get a link to download the Sandman app from your App Store. Install the app, create an account, and accept the terms of service. Now you're ready to set up your Sandman Doppler. Press start and it will walk you through it. You'll start by pairing the Doppler to Bluetooth. You'll see a six digit number four on the clock plus two on the bottom right. Enter that full number to pair. Next, connect it to your Wi-Fi network and give your Doppler a name. Finally, connect your Doppler to Amazon. Click the sign in button and it will bring up your Amazon account. Log in and click allow and it will add your Doppler as another Echo device. Now your Doppler is ready to go. So there's a few different ways you can set up your alarms on your Sandman Doppler. You can use the physical buttons on the top to set the alarms. Uh, you can use the Sandman app or you can use Alexa with either your voice or with the Alexa app. Now I've got her muted right now, so she's gonna be quiet while we do this. All right, so let me show you how to set up an alarm right here from the Sandman Doppler app. Now it's really easy. There's a big plus sign down at the bottom. You just push the plus. And then you pick whatever time you want. So I'm gonna set it for like 6.38 a.m. I can repeat it uh, you know, every day if I want to. I can change the sound. I can name it. I can call it morning and return. So I save that. So I just save it here and you can see right on the screen, it's got an alarm set. Uh, it'll go off at 6.38 in the morning. If I don't like that, I wanna change it, I can, I can um, delete it or I can edit it or delete it right here from the screen, which is nice. I'm gonna get rid of that. You know, and the Sandman Doppler app is great for setting the alarms, but if you're gonna use this with Alexa, probably most of the time you're gonna set it up with Alexa. So um, let me show you how that works. So let me go ahead and unmute her so that I can actually talk to her now. Hi, Alexa. Oh, she's waiting for me. Alexa, set an alarm for 6.21 p.m. Alarm set for 6.21 p.m. All right, so you can tell it's set because there's actually a little alarm thing here on the screen, so that's good, so you can know if your Alexa alarm is set. And uh, she's gonna go off in a minute. Actually, it's also an Alexa arm here, alarm here in the Sandman app. Okay, so the alarm's going off now. And I, whenever I push this button here, it snoozes it. This whole big but button here on the top is a snooze button. So you can tell right now, this little alarm guy is blinking. So that means the snooze is on. So this is really nice because the one we have doesn't have any buttons, so there's no snoozing. Unless you actually say, Alexa, snooze. And that kind of wakes you up. So, um, so right now it's snoozing and it'll snooze for nine minutes. Um, so, and if you actually want to physically turn off the alarm, you can push the little alarm button 
and then that's on and your alarm is off. You didn't have to talk or anything. You just basically turn off your alarm and get out of bed. So in addition to being an alarm clock, the Sam N Doppler can do almost everything a regular Amazon Echo can do. Uh, now, if you don't like Alexa listening to you in the bedroom, you can put her on mute so she can't hear you, which is a nice feature. Uh, you can also unmute her and you can do everything else. You can listen to the news, the weather. Uh, you can turn on your smart home devices. Alexa, turn off the lamp. She turns it off, which is great if you've got a lamp plugged into your nightstand. Oh, and by the way, there is one thing that the Doppler can't do today that a regular Echo can do. It doesn't support Alexa messaging, so you can't intercom from one Alexa to the other in your house. The Sam N Doppler also has really good speakers. Now it's got a couple of high power speakers here on the front, and then if you look at the back, it's got a big bass port, so this has really good sound. Now, when you're playing your music, either when you're uh, streaming from your phone or you're streaming um, from the regular Alexa music services, you can use these media buttons on the top. And when you're playing from your phone, you can even skip songs ahead or back. So you might have noticed when I was showing you the back that it's got a really big power brick. Now this is one of the biggest power bricks I've seen on a device in a long time. And the reason is it's got all these USB charging ports on the back and these aren't little wimpy ones. These are all very high power, fast charging USB devices. So I'm gonna show you right now all the different things that you can plug into your Doppler to stay charged at night. So for instance, you probably have one of these to charge your phone. Now this is a USB-C cable that you can charge devices on. Here's something for my watch, a regular USB. And you might even have something like this, which is a wireless charging pad. You can plug that in too. So let me show you how they plug in. All right, so I've got all these cables hooked up and what's really nice is that there's a little lip under here so the cables like fit through the front very nicely. So I can charge my phone, got that plugged in. I'm gonna take off my watch, I can charge my watch. And because we've got the USB-C, I can even charge my laptop. So there it goes. Now I'd have to have a really big nightstand for all these to fit on it, but this is really cool because you can charge all of these devices right here from the Sam and Doppler clock. Now the team at Palo Alto Innovations told us they're working on some other new features for the Sam and Doppler that will be coming soon and be upgraded right through the app. They're going to add temperature and weather to the face of the clock so you can see that when you wake up in the morning. And what I'm really excited about is that there's these two little buttons on the top labeled one and two, and they're gonna customize those so that you can make shortcuts out of them right from the Sandman Doppler app. So as you can see, the Sandman Doppler is more than just a really neat looking alarm clock. It's also an Alexa enabled device so you can control your smart home. And it also will charge your plethora of devices right here on your nightstand. Thanks for watching our video today. We've included more information about the product as well as links where to buy in the description box below. And while you're there, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you can find out the next time we do another video. And for more smart home stories, please visit appmyhome.com. Thank you.